Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to another weekend vlog, which is going to be packed full of things to do. It is actually Friday evening. I got off work pretty late, so I probably won't do too much filming today, but I want to give you a heads up what's happening for this weekend, and it's just going to be so much fun. So first thing, this evening we're actually going to be going over to a friend's house, and then tomorrow let's just say all day long there's something so I'm going to my first ever puzzle swap so tomorrow morning I do need to go through and just round up the puzzles that I'm going to be decluttering I need to do a separate video just about the swap but I will at least include some footage here for this vlog about my experience since I'm already gonna be down in San Diego I am gonna swing over to Balboa Park which is so much fun there's so many gardens there's museums there's food there's a lot of vendors that are like artsy so I hope to find a few things for the home I'm also going to be going to the zoo because that is right next to Balboa Park so that is really exciting just for a few hours and then Sunday I also have things some things planned I do have a Groupon that I need to use it actually had already expired but they're still letting me redeem it but I'm going to a sensory deprivation tank I'm excited slash nervous <laughs> I feel like I'll be fine I don't have any issues with like claustrophobia I um, mean I don't mind meditating so I don't think that will be the issue I just we'll, we'll see how it is but so that is Sunday and I'm also going to a winery on Sunday so it's just a very full weekend I really was just antsy to get out of the house so this past week has been kind of rough for me. So with Dave not being home at home and then at work, it's been really quiet too. And um, my one of my coworkers is not in the office right now. So it's just been really quiet there. So I just feel like I haven't had too much human interaction this past week. So I'm excited to have so much things planned this weekend, especially since last weekend didn't go, do too much. So I'm just excited to have such a fun filled crazy weekend it's going to be a blast I know I'm going to be exhausted but I am going to bring you along with me um, tonight I am as I've mentioned going to a friend's house I probably won't vlog anything there so I'll probably see you tomorrow morning getting my puzzles ready but yeah it's gonna be awesome and I'm sorry if I look really frazzled let's just say today has been a day and I'm happy it's the weekend so let's just have a good time good morning it is bright and early on Saturday morning, and I am feeling it. Uh, last night, I stayed way too late at my friend's. We got into a new show, and then I came home and couldn't stop replaying like my to-do list for tomorrow or today. So, I'm tired, but I am still excited to be going to the puzzle swap. I'm also really anxious because when I, I posted a picture of just like the puzzle, like everyone's just like, excited so I posted like the pile that I'm getting rid of and everyone's like oh my god I'm so excited and a lot of people were talking about how it's like a crazy frenzy for the first hour and it's just like nuts and wild and chaotic and I'm just like oh, what am I getting into because I feel like since I have so many puzzles it's gonna be a lot of swaps and just confusion of what's going to whom oh I need to get the puzzles that people are borrowing but I am gonna go over these puzzles because I want to make sure I'm giving them in good condition and if there's any call-outs like if there's a missing piece that's going to go in like the little trade section um i just want to i have some sticky notes that i'm going to tape on there um i also have ziplocs so that way in transport i'm just going to make sure that all the pieces are in the same box so i'm going to ziplock the puzzles that i have done and that are loose pieces uh, if there's a puzzle that's new, I might just put a price on it and not and sell them, I guess. But I don't have really have cash for change, so I don't know. Um, hmm, the, the bank might be open today, this morning at least, so I might stop and get some change. But I also have Venmo, so that works too. So I don't know. It's just gonna be a crazy morning. I'm excited, anyways, and I'm just gonna go through this real quick so that way I can. Uh, get ready and head out the door. So that is what I'm going to be doing right now. Shouldn't go 
my gosh. So I just finished the puzzle swap. I tried to get some clips when I was there and I will have a whole separate video about my experience. Um, but in general, I really enjoyed myself um, just to be with fellow people who love puzzles. I actually did meet a couple subscribers, which was really cool. So hello, thank you for swapping with me. Um, and one of them actually told me that there is a whole group of the puzzle swap people going to lunch. So. Apparently they do this after every swap. They just like open the invitation for people who want to have lunch afterwards. I think I might challenge myself and go because one, I haven't eaten today and lunch sounds good. I've never been to the place, um, but it's right, pretty much right here. So if I don't go, it's pretty much just like, I don't know, fear holding me back. So I think I will just say hello to people and have some conversation, have a meal with other people who like puzzles that sounds fun um but in general i did probably leave with less puzzles than i came with but not by much um i have a lot of thoughts and i kind of wanted to just like gather a list together like things that i learned things that i would do differently next time tips that i learned from the other people who have been here a few times so, so yeah i really did enjoy myself i have some new puzzles got rid of some old puzzles and so now i'm going to have lunch so that's my plan um i will probably just stick around until like one and then head over to Balboa Park. That is my plan. So I just had lunch. I didn't film in there because new people don't want to be the weird YouTube vlogger. <laughs> um, but I did have a really good time. So I met about seven people and it was just really calm and we just chatted about puzzles, not puzzles, got to know each other. Um, I ended up staying in like two hours. So it's a really nice long lunch and it was it was a good time. Anyway. So I just got to Balboa Park. It is so nice out. First order of business, I need coffee. So that is what I'm on the lookout for. Hey guys, Editing Emily here. Just wanted to let you know that we're doing a voiceover for what I'm seeing at Balboa Park versus just music. I thought maybe you'd like to know what you're actually looking at. Um, so first I was really excited about seeing the carousel running. This is the first time since I've lived here that I've actually seen it on and it looks super fast because it is. It's actually going like 13 or 15 miles per hour, which is crazy. Um, and then I went to the art area. So they have about 50 different studios from local artists who are selling their items and it is really cool to walk around. I didn't have nearly enough time to check out anything. I didn't realize they closed so early. They closed at four. So I only had like 45 minutes to go in the shops. I did buy one piece, but next time I'll definitely have to stick around a little bit longer. However, in general, Babo is just a really cool place to spend a Saturday or Sunday or just when you ever have time. There's just so much stuff to see and do and listen to. There's a ton of musicians. There's a lot of free things. Usually that botanical building is open but it is under construction right now but in general it's just a cool place to just look and look at crazy architecture if you're someone who loves looking at crazy architecture there's such beautiful buildings tons of museums they are available sometimes for free but i think there's like 13 to something museums in that bellow park which is really cool um, lots of gardens lots of just it's just a good place to hang out and listen to musicians. I think I saw three or four different musicians. We had a saxophone player, there's a guitar player, there was someone playing a violin. It was just a really nice, lovely day. And then if you actually go on Sunday at 2 p.m., they do have a free organ concert every Sunday. So that's what this building is. Inside there is a pipe organ. We have seen it quite a few times and it's really cool. Um, and then I went to the Japanese Friendship Garden, probably one of my favorite places to go in San Diego. I unfortunately went right before closing. It was supposed to stay open till 6, but there was a wedding that day. So I only had about an hour inside, but since I am a student, I do get discounted tickets. However, if you go in around May, they do have the cherry blossoms, which is absolutely stunning to look at. I have gone all different types of year, and I feel like this is the time where it had the least amount of blooms, but it was still fun. However, it was one of those like Instagram versus reality because everyone is trying to take their Instagram photos and footage, and it was just really funny because I'm sure everyone's getting like beautiful, lovely shots like this, but then you'll see just a mound of people waiting to take their photos and pictures and everything. It's just wild. Um, but it was really pretty to go. I wish I had more time there. I feel like this is a ongoing trend in my vlogs is that something is happening for a wedding. I think almost every museum this weekend had a wedding also. So unfortunately, I had to cut my Balboa Park sh visit short. But 
that was totally fine because I was absolutely exhausted by the end of this. Again, I didn't sleep well the night before, but that's okay. I still had a good time and I walked about three miles in the park. And now back to the vlog. Hello, good morning. So yesterday after I got back to the car, I was white. Um, again, I hadn't slept well the night before and I was so tired. So there's no way I was going to be able to do the zoo. Um, so I ended up just coming up here, having dinner, talked to Dave, and pretty much went to sleep at like 8 o'clock. So I clearly needed the rest. I feel a little bit better today, still a little tired, but <sighs> yeah, I definitely needed a good night's sleep. So on today's plan, we are going to the sensory deprivation tank. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be filming of the experience, but I'll definitely tell you how it went afterwards. Um, I'm also going to be going to a winery. All right, so I'm at the float spa place. Um, I'll show you what it looks like, but I do have to put on my robe and then go into a sauna first, and then I come back, rinse off, and then go into the pod. So that's what's happening. So that's the pod. There's a shower situation, and then they have like toiletries. All right, just did the sauna, which was nice. It got to 150 degrees. Um, so now I need to shower and wash off. No conditioner, just washing. And then I go in the pod. Would you like a straw? No, I'm all right. You have a wonderful day. Thanks, you too. All right. As you guys saw, I did go to Starbucks, and I just wanted to give you a little recap about the deprivation tank. It was really cool. I feel like it did take me a little bit for me to stop thinking, which I know is the whole point. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so slimy, because when you go in, it's a very weird sensation. Um, so it was like a, a little bit slimy. Um, but once I settled in, I did just relax and I think I fell asleep but I'm really not sure uh, but either way I just feel very relaxed right now I did have to take a shower afterwards I used some conditioner I did bring a brush so I'm gonna like brush through my hair and I think I actually in my purse have some sunscreen lotion so that would be awesome I just feel like my whole body just needs some lotion at this point um, but they did give me a bottle of water and some chocolates so I'm gonna have that and then I also just got like a light lunch at Starbucks that I'll eat before I go out to a winery so just being smart and preparing for booze um, so that's what I'm going to do I'm not sure if that winery has food many don't so yeah so yeah that is my plan but I just wanted to give you a little update on the deprivation tank. I can see me doing it again. Um, it de was really cool. I wasn't expecting the sauna part, but I did enjoy that. It got really, really hot. Um, and in general, it was a good time. I didn't mind it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to eat and then we'll go to a winery. <sighs>
I think I'm actually going to end the weekend vlog here. I'm just gonna eat my dinner, probably call my mom, and maybe puzzle. I wanna get a few puzzles ready and videos ready before I go on vacation in a couple weeks. So I'm gonna do a little pre-planning, pre-filming, so I'm gonna take tonight to do that, or at least get started and prepare. So I hope you all had a fantastic week. I had a really good time. I'm really tired. Um, it was just a lot of really fun things to do and I'm excited for next weekend. Uh, next weekend I think it might be a lot of like trip preparation so it's probably going to be mostly at home but I'm still but I will still take you along with me and yeah thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next weekend.